He's put ailerons on it, so that should be a new trick for him. Um, give us some throttle. Okay, so now we should activate the the apprentice receiver now. So the ailerons are working to keep him up. And as you can see, the elevators are now working too. So let's see what he can do with this. So we're out here with Colton. Colton had a good idea. He decided to um, take the receiver out of his apprentice because he was getting bored with it and it was getting too easy and infuse it with his F-22 Raptor design. And so as you can see, he's put ailerons on it so that should be a new trick for him. Um, give us some throttle. Okay. So now we should activate the the apprentice receiver now, so the ailerons are working to keep them up. And as you can see, the elevators are now working too. So let's see what he can do with this. Let's see if it works. I thought it was a pretty cool idea. Don't know about the colors though. <laughs> I only these are the two colors I had. <laughs> No, that's all right. So the F-22 Raptor with the apprentice receiver. Do you want me to throw it? Yeah. Do you want me to fly it? Okay, so go left. Like seesaw. I would too. Or go right. Okay, go left. Okay, up. Down. All right, heads up, guys. It needs to be turned up a little bit. Okay, so come to landing. Or pull back when you're in the Awesome. So pretty smooth? Yeah, I'm cranking it. Wow. We're cranking it what? Left and right? I'm cranking it right. Okay. So he's cranking it right and he can't he can't flip it or crash it. Maybe it's just because it's Yeah, it is a heavier foam board. And you might not have a Alright, so now can you take off and go to advanced and yeah, go to intermediate and see what you can do. Can't roll it yet? And you only gave what, like an inch and a quarter size control surfaces on the other Are you constantly cranking el uh, elevator? No. No? That's good. Now, you can go in advance and see if you can roll it. Too nose heavy. You might have to bring that nose that battery back. Go ahead and land it, and then we can throw that that battery back. Huh? Okay. Oh, okay. Huh? Really? So you still can't crash it. I don't. I think it. Let's try go. Oh, 
That's cool. It is a little windy today. Um, but uh, you're going to want to land again. Yeah, the wind's blowing at our backs. So you're going to be in beginner mode now to land it? Nice. Very cool. So, um, what'd you think? It was beginner, just like the apprentice, it wouldn't let me crank it or do anything crazy. That's crazy. So, uh, I think if you move the nose back, yeah. you'll have a better, uh, better control of the plane, too, because we're you're all the way cranked. If, we, if we go in and get your uh, Raptor right now, you'd see your elevator plane just cranked, and that's going to eliminate you from doing some cool stuff. Mm -hmm. So, let's get in and try to move that battery back and then we'll go up for another test flight. Okay, so we're back in the shop, um, and it obviously proved to be uh, a great learning tool for you, and you put it to the test and, and did some uh, some crazy maneuvers with it, uh, with that wind. Um, even going through the settings worked out great. Yep. And uh, I mean, this is this is pretty cool. So if you have an apprentice at home and you crashed it, don't don't give up on that receiver, because that receiver is, really is a nice. lot of money, and it's real nice. Um, E-Flight creates it, I believe, yep. and the problem with it is that it's $120 yep. for a receiver, and that can outfit a whole plane almost. So, um, E-Flight, we're reaching out to you guys to drop that price, because if you do, programs like this where we can save kids' builds and not necessarily have to have a good pilot um, be in the buddy box, would, would be huge, be beneficial, and um, you got something here. So if you could just sell the receiver, lower price, great. Then we get guys that can fly their scratch builds and not worry about crashing or anything. So very cool.